How I have missed this world. I don't think I've been in this world for like two months or something. But I'm very happy to be able to finally yet again say, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Yeah, I haven't really been in this world uh, since the last episode, which is during, I think, two months or something like that. And I'm struggling to remember what exactly we did last. Uh, we clearly are at level 30. I have one unspent skill point and one unspent expertise point. I don't remember leaving it off with that. Uh, but I do think that we made this story setup, which I am really, really happy about still, because look at all this free stuff, uh, free, free storage capacity. And what did I just see? Uh, three knowledge stars. Not bad. Okay, so, okay, ooh, interesting. And I do remember adding this elevator down here to, oh yeah, we got that as well. Ooh. Oh yeah, and I was working on this, uh, the, the catalyst for, nope, not that, what, what was, uh, where is my, I, I had a station for, oh yeah, this, I, I was working on one of these, weren't I? Uh, don't, yeah, this architect crystal, which I think I messed up a little bit, but <laughs> we're rolling with it anyway. Ooh, seal of the confe uh, confectioner, cake hunt. Ah, uh, it, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. Now, uh, as of recording this, the new update for Vault Hunters is not out yet. I don't really recall the version number, but it will probably come out pretty soon. Um, so I'm not going to run this just yet, I'm going to add this in here, but as soon as the Cake Vault update is out, I will definitely be running that. And let's just go ahead, oh, okay, Th this could potentially be good. Uh, is this better? Not really, I mean, I could re-roll it, but it, mine currently has better suffixes. Oh well, uh, where's my spell tree again? <laughs> I have to remember everything all over again. Ah, so, uh, so it, since the last episode, there has been updates to Vault Hunters, and to be fair, I have been playing Vault Hunters with my friend Monocle MC. Uh, we've just been playing together in our off time, and we, we've been, uh, we've been playing Vault Hunters and exploring some of the new features and stuff. But I honestly don't recall the changes from version to version other than that I need to go through my um, my jewels here because a lot of these are not relevant anymore like uh, like this 84 size wind affinity that's just not gonna work like we we're getting much better sized jewels now so that is something that I need to go ahead and sort through and I also see that I now have dungeons in the quest which I have I think I've definitely been in a dungeon and other, otherwise, other than that, we have Plunderous Pearl at Archives, so that is brand new, and then we have level 40, which I still need to reach. Uh, so I, I guess we just go ahead and follow the quest here, open a dungeon door, which means I need to be able to make a crystal. Uh, hope, excuse me, there we go. Hopefully it's something that I can actually afford. <laughs> uh, yeah, that actually doesn't seem too bad, to be honest. Except that I don't have kelp and I also, oh, I do have sand, okay, good. I do have the sand, I don't have the kelp, I actually don't know if I have the copper or the spider eyes either, to be honest. Definitely have the spider eyes, do I have the copper? I think that is the exact amount. Nope, it's not, I need to smelt some, but still, not too bad, just need the sand, uh, not sand, kelp. Uh, getting warmed up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And I honestly really love this here with just having the the furnaces behind this. I think it I think it hides it really really well in a good way. Um, these are not supposed to go in there, are they? Yeah, there we go. That's better. Except that it stole this. There we go. Oh wow! Why did I not empty this out? I guess I meant to do that off camera. Well, uh, the, the, yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> do we have a mod box though? Do we have? I have three mod boxes in here. Ew! No ew. That's beautiful. Do I, can I, do I not have, is that, is that seriously full? Wow, I do have a storage upgrade tier one. I guess I'll just plop that on here for now so I can actually, there we go, put that in there. But still, that is, I think, impressive. Now, when it comes to expertise points, I think I'm actually going to put a point into jeweler due to the way that the jewels are now working. And I can actually go ahead and make an empty inscription, which is, I think, what I was trying to do with this crystal here. I don't remember how to actually, I think it was in an anvil, if I'm not mistaken. Do I have an anvil somewhere? I do indeed. Uh, so yeah, that is going to add more completion to this because it is currently only 47.7%, but this should put it to 50.6%, adding instability, but yep, we're still good. 
<laughs> Ideally, I want to uh, the percentage of completion as high as possible without the crystal being exhausted and I'm not able to put any more on. So we're getting there slowly but steady. Uh -huh. Kelp. Perfect. Oh dear. Oh, look at the growl. <laughs> wow. And I do have magnet. I forgot about that. It's a thing. There we go. That is all the kelp that I require. Beautiful. And now that I'm flying here and I see that one unspent skill point, I think I'm actually going to put that into dash if I can. Yep, yeah, there we go. I think that I'm pretty happy with that. That should upgrade the distance. Oh, look at our base farm above. We, could, we have a pretty decent sized area now. Not bad. And there we go. And that is the crystal, but I'm not quite done with it just yet. You see, in the next version of Vault Hunters, the monoliths are going to disappear. So, or they're going to be replaced, I should say. So I think due to that, I want to make a... Uh, uh, what are they called? Seals? There we go. Uh, seal of the... I'm pretty sure you can make one for the... Or maybe, hold on, am I remembering this wrong? Scavenger hunt, hunt for the guardians, Elysia rush? Ooh, I thought I could make a seal for monolith crates, but I guess not. Never mind, these crystals or the monolith uh, uh, vault type, is it doesn't have a seal. That's interesting. All right, well, I guess we're just going to have to hope that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Things goes according to plan. All right, I'm using the sword. I'm. I think I'm going to use the axe for the javelin, and definitely need the vault compass. Not gonna run any of that. Don't need the warp stone. Definitely need the blocks. Definitely need this. And I think that is it. I almost forgot these though. I almost forgot these. That would have been pretty bad. All right. With that though, I think we're ready. Let's do this. Yeet. Hey, let's go. It's a monolith vault. That is perfect. This is going to be probably the last time that we are ever going to see the monoliths here in the series. So that is going to be interesting. And we're, we're jumping straight into it, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> Gotta remember to switch on the magnet. And by the way, guys, um, I, oh, that's our first monolith right there. That You know what? It deserves a screenshot. Boom. Screenshot acquired. Um, yeah, uh, guys, I'm trying to, I'm trying my best to keep up with, like, the, the updates and, and such, but if there's something that you see me do that is either wrong or outdated or there's a better way of doing it, please do let me know down below in the comments. I'm not expecting to know more about this game than you guys do. I, in fact, I'm expecting you to know more about this game than I do. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> the feedback is always appreciated. Oh, wow. Hello. I don't think I've seen you before. That was a bit creepy, but also, I guess, special? <laughs> I guess. Also, I just remembered, we need to be lo- Oh, I forgot to grab a bounty. No. Dang it. Oh, well. Uh, as, as I was saying, I need to be looking out for dungeon doors, which might be something that I just try and focus on. I'm going to loot this first vault here. And then, oh dear me. Okay, that's a bunch of... Ugh. I haven't seen any of these guys before. I have cause to be a bit scared now, I feel. Don't judge me. <laughs> but yeah, I, I need to find... Um, I need to find dungeon doors, which after running this vault, I might just go ahead and just focus on that primarily. Also, the monoliths. I want to complete this uh, this this monolith challenge. As it's the final time we're running with monoliths, I don't want to not... That's very dangerous in a room like this, having live TNT. Okay, I thought I hit the TNT then. But yeah, I want to... I want the final monolith run to be a successful monolith run. <laughs> Oh dear. Hi. Hi. Yeah, this is... This is... Go away. I don't like you. Very risky looting this room, but I feel like it is worth it. As long as one is careful. Oh, we got a flawed jewel then. Ooh. Interesting stuff. Oh dear me. That is a village room and they can be pretty good if they have a stronghold, which, yep, that's the entrance right there. Oh boy. Now, these can be good, but they can also be very dangerous. And I need to remember to mark my way out as well. But yeah, 
They... Oh. 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 Go away. Go away. But yeah, living chests, not bad. These you do have to destroy, though. Otherwise, they will keep spawning. So that's a good thing to note. But yeah, these can be extremely lucrative when it comes to uh, the living chests. I say that, though, and I don't see that many living chests, to be honest. <laughs> uh, hmm... I could also very easily die down here or and or get lost, which is something I definitely don't want to do. But I also really don't want to mess. I don't want to mess this, uh, miss this opportunity, though. It is, however, like a maze in here. Oh, hey, hello. OK, another stairway up. Not going to take that. Oh, yep. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, hi. Go away. Nah. Nope. Bye-bye. Like 16 dollar chests from just that one chest. And another three. Another seven. Yep, this is pretty good. Whoa, you spawned right in front of me, pal. That is really, really, definitely not appreciated. Go away. <laughs> uh, this has turned into a horror game. I don't like it. Just quickly grab all the chests and I'll be on my way. Oh, this is a good room though. Oh, I got an inscription. I don't even know if I knew that you could actually just get those like that. Not bad. Oh no. Yeah, this is getting a bit hairy. Yep. Yep. Bad. And the silverfish. Okay. I think, yep, they're getting hit by my thorns. Please go away. This is... Yeah, I think I... Yeah, I think I've always saved my welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I think it is time for me to, uh... Yeah, complete this monolith challenge. <laughs> Except that I am... Lost? Nope, not lost. Yay. And just gonna block that. There we go. Now, time to find the monoliths and a dungeon door. I think that's only the only thing that I'm going to be focusing on. Unless... Oh, no. Oh, dear. My my day back at uh, on Vault Hunters and I am getting all the good stuff. Is that Echo? No, that's Magnet Type. I might grab this on the way back. Because I will have to come back to my home portal. I might come back to that room. Aha! Second monolith has been acquired. And the third monolith. Have a quick run around to see if there should be any dungeon door by any chance. Maybe, potentially, or not. Oh dear me. Uh, hi. And, oh boy, <laughs> another village room. Um, I don't think I'm gonna... Uh, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll say... Oh, maybe there's no entrance? Never mind, there is. <laughs> I don't escape that easily. I, I kind of just have to take a look. It's gilded. Uh, no, nope. I'm going to dedicate to the monoliths and the dungeon door. That's what we came in here for. Fourth monolith acquired. Not bad. Ooh, champion. I will always very gladly take on a champion. There we go. Nice. Go oh, away. Another inscription. Wow, I, I have three inscriptions on me. And some of them are really, really good, actually. Wow, I did not know that I would be getting that today. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. This is a lot. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to grab this and go over here. Ben. <laughs> Anything up here? Maybe a little dungeon door for me? A little dungeon door for little me? Maybe? Anyone? No. Oh. Oh, another champion. Gladly. Oh, wow, you're tough. You are very strong. Yep. Okay. Um. Hi. Yeah. Go away, please. Uh, all the minions go away. Uh, creeper is very not welcome. Oh, there's two of them. Oh dear me. Uh -huh. Don't blow up, please. I want the. I want to kill the champions my, myself, please. And... Nope. Missed. There we go. Those boots better be really, really good. Wow. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. 
<laughs> That's creepy. Scary. And monolith number five. Oh, hello. You're special. Uh, scary and special. Okay. And that is the final monolith right there. Just saw it at the corner of my eye. Boom. The monolith quest is complete. Uh, now, I have five minutes, four minutes, basically, to try and find some sort of dungeon door. Which, uh... Doesn't look like... I mean, so far I haven't found one. Maybe I've missed some. Don't know. But, yeah, it might not be as easy as that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Seventh monolith has been located. Come on, please have a dungeon door in here somewhere. That would be great, because there's a bunch of other loot as well that I really want. Oh, hi. Oh, you're, you're dangerous. Hi. I really don't have time to fight you guys if I want to find... Or when I have a chance of finding that dungeon door anyway. Okay, this is my starter room. So hopefully if I go down in some of these paths here. Oh, <laughs> in monolith number eight. Hopefully I'll be able to find a dungeon door. That would be great, please. Okay, less than two minutes. I may want to find... Yeah, I do have some kiwis. I may need to take those if I am really, really trying to greet this. <laughs> I don't remember if it's 30 seconds they give you or if it is 10 seconds they give you. So I do need to take account for that. I just I just need to find a dungeon, be able to open the door, and then that's it. That's all I need to do, basically. But I'm not seeing one. Come on, you seem like a room that would have a dungeon door. You look like a room that would have a dungeon door. That would be an unfortunate... Nope. Nope. Oh, 20 seconds. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, I really wish that I would be able to... Uh, <laughs> to get to get the dungeon. Oh, well. I mean, hey, we need a reason to go into more vaults, right? <laughs> Other than just the loot. We have a long-term mission here in, in, in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I'm really glad that I found kiwis, because otherwise... I would be in a pickle right now. I don't think... Nope, this is not the room. Oh, hi. You're walking very slow. Oh, no. Th see this? This is why you need kiwis on you at all times. Because uh, bad things can happen. Unexpected things. This is getting dangerous. <laughs> this is getting really dangerous. I'm down to four hearts. I think this is the room. Yep, this is the room. Okay. Uh, dang it. No, uh... No dungeon door. That's fine. We got a bunch of loot anyway, and we completed the main objective, which was to do the monolith vault, which I'm really happy that we got to do, and also got to finish at the end. Now I'm gonna go through before something bad happens. <laughs> All right, you know what? Not too bad. 21,000 XP, basically, 162 mobs unalived, and just less than 100 chests looted. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think that's pretty good. And look at this, we have gotten some jewels here, a wooden affinity one, which is pretty big considering uh, the new change to the jewels. Uh, trap disarm chance is smelting, eh, not too cool, but these on the other hand, 10% inscription, 7%, 7% and another 10%, that is 34% if I'm not mistaken on on this it does add even more instability but i think it's going to be worth it if it works oh it's cursed <laughs> it's cursed and cursed again um i think i just gotta keep going though cursed again wow that's and uh, cursed do i have i don't have things to remove the curses uh Right, and that's an X mark room. And, and a Wild West. Why did I do this? I feel like this crystal is is a mistake, but <laughs> I'm gonna run it anyway at some point. Uh, oh dear me, I really need to go through all of these, don't I? Uh, yeah, definitely didn't loot too much in there as I was focusing on the two objectives. Uh, really annoying, I forgot to pick a... Um, what's it called? Pick some... Do I not have dream stones in here? Apparently I don't. Yeah, pick a bounty. That that would have been nice. Also, we do have 12 of these relic booster fragments. Of which I got one. Uh 
Where do I keep the relics, actually? I don't have them in there. Yeah, it's a duplicate. <laughs> of course it is. And in here, this is the stuff we got there. Not too bad, I'll empty that off camera properly this time. All right, let's identify these two pieces of armor right here. We have some boots, uh, definite, oh. So even though mine are Omega, this rare one seems to be a lot, okay. They're level 15, these are level 30. <laughs> uh, prefix is a li little bit less though. I can reroll that to get some health. Um, but I really like the mana regen because I do need that. So I think I'm actually going to take these. Also considering these really need an upgrade soon anyway. Uh, the leggings, they... Ooh. Okay, I'm going to reroll the prefixes on this. But yeah, that is definitely, I think, an upgrade. Uh, yep, in here. Uh, bronze. Oh. Oh yeah, that, that is a bit a little bit low on the low end there. Let's grab that. 16,000. Wow. We're definitely not lacking in the coin department. Uh, all right, let's see. Why is that? Oh, I think I need to add this actually. There we go. And then I can run. Oh, never mind. Seven health. Okay. I'm actually pretty happy with this. 10 armor, 26 extra mana, which is pretty good, I think. Increased attack damage, that's almost max roll. Knockback resist, that's not the best, but I'll take it. And suffixes, extra mana regen and item rarity. I think that is actually really, really good. Now to enchant them, I'm definitely going to get Fella Falling. Uh, I don't remember if Unbreaking has an effect. I don't think it does, but I'm gonna... I actually, actually, no, I do think it does have an effect. Anyway, I'm gonna put it on there. You guys, uh, let me know if Unbreaking actually works in the vaults or not, or if it is completely irrelevant. I don't remember. <laughs> now for the battle with Crate, let's see... Oh, <laughs> Let, let's be settled over here and let's see what we get. Oh. Right, I have Magnet on. Anyway, let's see what we get. Uh, Mode of Clarity reveals all curses on a Vault Crystal. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for <laughs> for this thing that is so incredibly crazy. And I might actually add some Hmm. Depending on how many catalysts that I that I managed to get, if I got a bunch of living, for example, I could add those to the architect vault, but I want to save them, I think, because I'm going to run this separately, because that is just going to be absolutely in insanity <laughs> with the amount of curses that's getting. Plus, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure that I did that wrong. So I want to save those for better architect runs. Um, wands, uh, two wands, don't really care about those too much. Mining speed, pretty good, and copiously also pretty decent. Uh, wind affinity, that's a bit big, but I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. Not too bad. And let's see what we got. Uh, wand, one. Actually, that's not too bad of a wand, I don't think. Anyway, let's take a look at these leggings. Yep, definitely not as good. All of which are gonna get smelted down. And in terms of this, do I have... I don't have strength maxed out. Okay, well, I was going to look through the, the talents and the abilities here to see what I was going to upgrade. But uh, since strength is not that max... Definitely, you're gonna get that, because these guys are starting to get tough. Now, I'm going to end this episode here. This was kind of an episode of me returning and looking very much forward to this. And I just want to see what the next crystal is. That is actually not too bad. The raw mutton, actually, that's not bad either. Actually, all of this should be, uh, except for the apples, maybe. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll do it off camera, just like everything else I say I'll do off camera and then forget about it. <laughs> But guys, that's going to wrap up this episode of Vault Hunters. I'm back, I'm loving it, and I hope you're excited for more, because uh, I'm definitely not nowhere near done with this mod pack. I am loving it. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. It greatly helps out the channel a ton. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you're interested in more of what you see here. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, goodbye.